In this video, we're going to walk through how to migrate a WordPress installation using a plugin called All-in-One Migration. All-in-One Migration has a bunch of options for you to tackle this type of task. Let's dive right into the plugin itself, and you'll see here that they let you FTP, Dropbox, Google Drive, and so many other options that you can utilize. I'm gonna click on File, it's gonna prepare everything. The cool thing about this plugin is that it exports everything that you need from the database side all the way to the images and everything in between. I'm gonna go ahead and download this thing. So now that this file has completed downloading, what we're going to do is go to our destination instance and we're gonna add in here the same plugin. So we're gonna to go to plugins and type all in one. That way this comes up. By default, this plugin doesn't necessarily let you do too much when it comes to importing. So when I click on import, it's gonna be limited to two megabytes and then it's gonna offer me to get unlimited. Again, there are other methods to do this. In our case, we already bought the premium version of this. I'm going to add another plugin and this one is on my computer. Again, I got this from making the purchase. There are other ways to do this, or you can just make the purchase yourself. I'm gonna activate. So this extension is going to enable me to import files that are bigger than two megabytes like we saw before. So now it's gonna show me unlimited, and in this case, I am ready to go. So I'm gonna say import from file. It's gonna ask me from where. I'm already with the file prepared. We downloaded it two minutes ago and it is right here. I'm gonna hit open and now we're just gonna sit and wait. That way this finishes the process of migration. Now it's preparing everything for me. Again, database images and all that good stuff. So I'm not going to have to do anything when this is done. Okay, so now it's asking me if I wanna proceed with everything that I just uploaded and had it prepare for me. And in this case, of course I do. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit proceed. And it's just gonna finalize right now everything that I uploaded and we should be good to go. Once this is done, I should be able to refresh this page and see what we saw here over here. So let's take a look. It looks like it's finished. I'm gonna hit finish. Let's go ahead and hit refresh here. And there it is. I didn't have to transfer anything. As you all saw, this process is super easy. Now it's gonna log me out because now it requires the credentials from this website. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it the credentials from here into here so I can log in. And that's it, I'm good to go. As you see here, I'm on the domain that I want it to be. We obviously have a few more updates that we need to do here, but everything is working. Let me just make sure, so that's not. So now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is go to permalinks and let me just hit save changes and let's see if that does it. Sometimes these things can happen, so I'm gonna go ahead and refresh here, hit about. Okay, so it looks like everything is working now. Get a quote. Sweet. Footer links, yeah, everything is good to go. So now we're good. Sometimes you gotta just refresh some stuff because it just imported everything over. But if we go to also general and take a look at the domain, in a lot of cases, if you were to do this, say with some other method that's a bit more raw with like the server stuff, then you would have to go in and update all this yourself and reissue the SSL. And in this case, everything was done for us. So we don't really have to do anything. As you see, it all just works. So that's all I got for you all. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to support the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you have any questions, make sure to drop them down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you all for watching and have a great day.